Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my second career mode of Rise of Flight. Today we're going to follow Robert Cross once again as we start episode 5. And we have him as an ace now, which is, I suppose, kind of cool. Um, better than nothing? Better than being dead, we'll say that. So we'll cut over to the campaign generator, we'll get this started. Let's just, uh, yep, over Robert Cross. Uh, I went through a few uh, things, unfortunately. I... Uh, <laughs> I actually, this is my second time recording this episode because the first time I recorded it, I uh, ended up botching up my uh, audio, my, sorry, my voice recording. So I, I unfortunately have to record it again, which means that I actually did get, uh, I did fly one mission. Although, admittedly, it was a boring mission and almost nothing changed. It ended up being a bomber escort where B and Cad accompanied me and we kind of just flew around and waved our arms a bit and pretty much nothing got accomplished we flew home we landed it was funny i guess everyone was happy but so today hopefully we'll get something a little more fancy so that's the reason why there's a set of five missions right now and that's the reason why i'm re-recording this mission again today again so we'll just uh, i wanted to actually check out real quick here intelligence just to see what kind of yastas are in the area Seems to be a few of them at least, and most of them seem to be flying Fokker E3s, which I guess makes sense considering it's the 16th of February in, uh, um, like 1916, which is still really, really early war. Like, we haven't even hit, we haven't hit anywhere, uh, close to the really cool stuff that happens during World War One for aviation. So, um, hopefully we'll get there eventually, although that'll take quite some time. So far, we've been flying over for just over a month and a half, which I suppose is actually pretty cool now that I think about it. So let's jump in here. Mission. Again with a ronde or uh, a bombing escort. Man, these bombers and they're needing escorts. Alright, 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 fine. Oh god, let's put this properly. So we're doing a usual, we head south and then we head north. We're gonna meet them over over the uh, over no man's land where they are where we're going to meet up with them. If it's anything like the last one, it'll be kinda dumb because we flew, ended up flying completely north and they're flying all the way back. And then meeting up with the the bomber, and then going all the way in, where we then went across the line, or actually didn't even go across the line, but apparently there's what looks to be an airbase back there where they're going to be bombing. Uh, so <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully that'll that'll go over well. Got a pilot selection up here. Ooh, we have Lieutenant Maxim Con Conquid him. We got him. And we're going to be having B joining us again. Uh, I'll only switch people out in these... Actually, we'll, we'll add one more. Let's, let's just do that. Let's add, let's add CAD to this list. He hasn't exactly got to fly very many missions. The last one he flew, kind of, you know, nothing happened, so whatever. We'll, we'll sneak him in there, and uh, we won't tell command. Shh, it'll be our secret. This is flight's going to be happening at 8.30 in the morning. Good enough for me, except... Back... To mission, and we'll jump over to Rise of a Flight. Well, mission, and then uh, we'll pick the escort for the 16th. Yeah, you can see that was the leftover from the last mission, and we'll start. And here we are. Okay, so yeah, we're looking at the same thing pretty much. We're just gonna be heading it south, then north. Intercepting the bombers. Maybe fight some guys? Who knows? That'd be kind of neat. Hangar, just to double check that we everything's set the way we want it to. We got our nice logo. We got our our uh, conversion system set where we wanted to. Okay, good, works for me. Back to mission, and let's kick this shindig off. Start. Ooh. Okay, unpause. Recenter track IR. Pull it back a bit. Look over to the side. Got all of our nice friendly planes there. I'm going to set our rate mixture to full. I'm going to push our throttle forward a little bit. Because that seems to be a good trick for getting this thing started. And we're going to start the engine. Once the engine actually kicks in, we're going to... Lean out the mixture. Uh, it's been a bit weird, but the engine's running. Uh, 
Okay, we'll just continue watching. Oh, we gotta pay attention to the... Okay, so it looks like we're at least taking off into the wind, which is nice. <coughs> we'll watch our uh, friendlies here. We'll start taking off as well. Use a bit of rudder to correct ourselves. Continue going forward. Oh, right into the sun. Okay. As it passes our nose, we're, we're A okay. Wind is actually kicking us around a little bit. But that's okay. Or lean out our mixture a little bit so we can uh, get a little bit more performance out of our plane. We seem to be good though. I think I saw the bombers flying overhead. That must be them right there. Which is good because then at least we don't have to do that stupid thing we did last time where we had to like go all the way to the line and then come all the way back. I was wondering there, where's the fourth guy? Where's Cad? Because, uh, <laughs> I was following fairly close and close enough to hear his engine. Okay. In behind him. In behind Cad. Let's just keep this. Keep a bit, keep it steady here, and I think that's all we need to do. I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually mention to you guys too about another uh, something pretty cool. Um, for all those who actually do watch my videos, um, I got contacted by a guy named Doctor Zebra, which is actually pretty cool because he offered me, or not offered, but he told me about a uh, a project that him and a couple other YouTubers are going to be working on, which is a kind of um, realistic sort of uh, one death and you're out online multiplayer uh, career mode which could be quite cool so what we did is we would go on to a little forum that they had put together and we would create our pilots in which we would then go on missions either together or solo or whatever but either way it's online and it's tracked through our profile online and um, it, that, uh, it tracks our kills, our mission lengths, how many missions we've gone on, what kind of plane we had, even our accuracy, all that kind of stuff. Um, once we die once, the pilot gets retired and we make a new one and then we would continue on as the fresh-faced newbie. It's really cool actually and it's featuring some of the um, some of the really uh, big name uh, Rise of Flight YouTubers, which is really quite cool as well. Um, some that you guys might already know, but some that I'll definitely link in the description for you guys to watch. Uh, there's I know that Jimmy Blonde is in on it. Tail Mange wants a piece. Uh, uh, Dukely is the one who's kind of sort of running the show. It's his forum. And um, uh, Dr. Zebra, of course, who's actually seems to be the one who's kind of spearheading the thing as a whole. But him and Dukely seem to be the two big ones on board as far as uh, actually getting this thing started. So keep an eye out for that. I'll, I'll do my best to record those sessions as they come um, and hopefully be able to... Um, commentate and get them out to you guys so you guys can watch it from my perspective which should be quite cool considering as we're flying the missions we're going realism mode so we won't be using voice comms while we fly uh, we'll have to be limiting ourselves to flares machine gun bursts or wing waggling in order to communicate with one another so I'll, I'll put a link down below to all the channels of you know Jimmy Blonde, Tail Mange, Dukely, uh, Dr. Zebra, all those guys, because they're really great sources to check out for uh, Rise of Flight Let's Play, if you guys are into that sort of thing, and they've been doing it longer than I have too, so if you're looking for some really big, longer, much longer, and epic careers, they'll have you covered for sure. Taking just a quick look around here, our squad still seems to be 
putting along pretty well. Where did our uh, escorts go? I'm oh, sorry, no, our es the ones we're supposed to be escorting. Um, I did see them. I saw them with my own eyes. The wings kick me around a little bit. Let's check below us. No, I don't seem to be there. I'm kicking it at full bore too, so I don't think that the bombers would be able to keep up with us. I'm pretty sure they're FE. Um, sorry, no, what was not FE? F2B? F2B? No. I knew the name. I did at one point. I'm pretty sure it's F2B. I don't know. It's uh, a pusher plane as well. I'm sure that someone in the comments can probably correct me. I'm pretty sure it's an F2B though. We're gaining sudden altitude for reasons that I don't know. I'm not here to ask questions though. I'm here to do as I'm told, I guess. Even though from most sources I've seen stuff about the chain of command and all sorts of what's wrong and right to do in the flying air or in the well I guess in this case the French air service. It's pretty loose for the most part, you know, pilots could go up on their own and go on their own private solo missions whenever they feel like, so I guess so long as it doesn't conflict with their usually scheduled sorties, so... I don't think they would be super disappointed in me if I ended up slightly disobeying orders. We're approaching the front lines now. Actually surprised that I managed to ramble about literally nothing through that entire phase of us flying north to get to the or the uh, no man's land, get to the front lines. I still don't see our bombers. They were definitely behind us. I, I do remember passing by them, and I do remember keeping an eye on them. I have a feeling they're just so far back now that we've lost them. So as much as I thought that we weren't going to be doing that thing where we fly north to get to no man's land to do our to rendezvous, and then or fly all the way back to actually rendezvous and then hit back. It seems that that's what we're doing. Thanks, AI. So. We'll get there. Um, in the meantime, I think that actually I'll, I'll just, I'll cut the video. I'll cut you guys back in once we've actually rendezvoused with our target and we can keep an eye on them and do our mission as it's supposed to be done. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're gonna be back in. <coughs> we did end up going all the way back. All the way back almost to our airbase. But we did manage to rendezvous with the bombers, so that's that. I just count three um FE FE two Bs. FE two, yeah. FE two Bs down there, and we have um, I guess I'm a little ahead of our squadron here. Whoopsie doodle. lose a little bit of airspeed for them to get ahead of me. I guess it's not that important, but I don't really want to lose them this time. That usually ends kind of badly. But I guess ultimately my goal is to just keep an eye on them. Those three brave bombers who are hopefully able to complete the mission, provided we are able to complete ours. So let's stay on their tail here, get back in formation. I have no idea where our flight lead went. Oh, there he is. Way over there. Looks like he's doing a turnabout. 
to loop back around to continue to uh, stay on the bombers. Wait a second. Hold it. This is a movement I did not expect. Did somebody see something? Is there action afoot? I'm not seeing anything, guys. Okay, well, either way, staying with the squad. Where are those bombers? Making sure I keep an eye on my squad at the same time, but I want to make sure that those bombers are around. I don't see them. Don't see those bombers at all. But oh well, looks like I'm just gonna stick with my squad. They were flying quite low. I doubt they would've got picked off by flak. That would've been kind of I was going to say kind of pitiful, but eh, that's happened to me, so. Okay, where did my squad go again? Dang it. I hate losing them like this. Oh. Above me. That would explain why I was able to hear engines. So I'll just pull up, and meet them. I was move I was in a bit of a dive, so I had quite a bit of speed, which allowed me to do that. Which is super nice and super great. Take a brief look around. Oh, there's those bombers. Counting two. There's the third. Oh well. Take two. Two or three is not bad. Oh, squad's turning. Bombers? Uh, this is, again, embarrassing. I gotta stop looking for those bombers, because it seems every time I do, I lose sight of my squad. I'm gonna turn back towards where I last saw them. Specifically, where I last saw those bombers. Because that's probably where my squad's at least close to. I need to stop diving like this. Well, I'm pretty sure those bombers continue to cross the line, because that's... I really wish my mission thing on my map showed the bomber's route, but it doesn't, unfortunately. 
but I do know that they're headed further across the line in order to drop some bombs on an airfield someplace. So maybe I can still locate those bombers and then as such locate my squad. Considering they should be in the same place unless my squadron is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. You know, like I am. Trying to scan the area. Scan down below for any signs of plane movement. It's a little bit hard to find locate planes. I am so freaking lost. Okay, well, let's at least try and find out where I am. Let's uh, bring up our map here. The thing they're supposed to be bombing, I'm pretty sure, is that one right there. So, there should be a river. A river nearby. Let's see. River, river. River? That looks like a river over there. So I'm going to head that way. Okay, that is most definitely a river. Is it the river that I'm looking for? That actually looks like it might be. That town right down there looks like it might be what the bombers are supposed to be going to bomb. If I remember what was posted on the map, that is. So I'll continue to fly this way, where I am fairly sure is where our squad is, was supposed to be headed, and where they probably are, and I just am the one who's lagging behind, as usual. Damn my human errors. If only I was an AI that could completely do ev and do everything perfectly. Or at least close to perfectly. Okay, bombers. Do, do you have bombers? Any any bombers? Hmm, not seeing any. I am pretty sure this is what they were supposed to be bombing. Well, let's follow this river back towards the front. And if my squad is anywhere around here, they sh I should probably run into them at some point. Which would be a super swell thing to have happen. Let me tell you. Also got to watch my tail because I am on the German side of the lines right now. And I, of course, don't want to get my ass shot. I mean, some other people might, but I can tell you right now, I sure don't. Squad. Here, squaddy squad. No? That usually works. Who am I kidding? It never works. Flak. 
No need to get hopes up. Looking back for bombers or something. Not seeing anything. The only movement I see down there is from craters, artillery shells hitting the ground. Big ol' explosions. And what looks to be flak plumes. Oh well, uh, I'll cut the video here for you guys and I'll bring all you guys back in when I feel like something more eventful has happened. See you in a bit. Okay, bringing everybody back in. I did it. I found them. I have found my squad. Now to actually, you know, catch up with them and be with them. That would be super cool. They seem to have circled back from where I was originally headed towards them, so it looks as though they're circling around, I'm supposing the bombers, because that's generally what they do. You know, they get a little ways ahead and then they turn around and head the other direction while the bombers catch up. Yata, 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 but I don't see them down there. But whatever. I say screw bombers. I want to stay with my squad this time. I don't want to lose them again. So this time I'm just going to put my crosshairs on my friends. On my squad. And keep it there. So that I can actually, you know, do a thing. Because that would be great. I'm gonna put the map away too. I don't really need it right now, I guess. So long as I can keep an eye on my buddies. I'm trying to kind of fly ahead of them too. To kind of cut their cut their loop a bit, or cut their turn a bit. What's that down there? Is that uh, is that the lead? Yeah, it looks like it looks like that's the lead. So. Okay. Works for me. I have no idea what happened to those uh, FE2Bs, but we're going to hope they're okay. I'm just glad I found my squad. Or did find my squad until this cloud got my way. Oh, I can still see him over there. I'll just have to make sure that I fly straight and level when I go through this cloud, otherwise who knows what'll happen. In a lot of these flight sims, considering you don't really feel the force of gravity on you yourself, when you fly through a cloud you can't really rely on much, and I don't have an artificial horizon in this artificial plane of course, so huh, that's, uh, that's not going to help me at all, so I can't really fly super level and straight through a cloud like this. But, it does look as though... Aha, I got little raindrop effects on my goggles. It does look as though I managed to... catch up to my squadron. Sort of. But, uh, I'm not quite sure where we're headed, to be honest. I... It looks like we're... Oh, wait. Looks like we're going into combat mode on something down there. Okay, let's do this. Let's wait for these two to kind of do their thing. 
keep an eye down there. Got no idea what they are. Um, they look like two seaters. These two are still hanging out up here. Even though it seems like things are going on down there. I don't know why that is. But I'm going to stick with these guys for now. Until I'm very sure that there's combat afoot. Looked like there was. Looked like there was a bunch of a couple two seaters. I uh, that I suppose that could have been the bombers, but it definitely they looked like our lead was going in for an attack as opposed to, you know, helping. And we are losing altitude. Headed back across our own lines. Turning a bit. Oh, Another plane down there. I think that might have been our lead. What's this? Oh, I thought those two flag bursts in the sky. The silhouettes looked like Eindeckers for a second. I did not even notice I got that close to them. Sorry guys, <laughs> I directly nearly ran into them. I'm pretty sure that's Cad right down there. Don't really want to run into him. We still seem to be spiraling slowly downwards, but I don't see a reason as to why. I mean, I did. At least I thought I did. But not anymore. Oh, wait. We're flying away. Why are we flying away? Definitely some aerial what's who's that's going on over here. Looks like we're breaking up. Tracers are flying. Whoa. Tracer's flying real close there. I have yet to f confirm a target. But there's definitely some stuff going on here. I, I can't pick a target though. I don't really know what we're fighting. That's definitely a new port. That is not a new part. It's a DFW. I think. I want to be 100% sure. It's got iron crosses on it, at least. So at the very least, it can be shot. Okay, so let's try and dive down. Hook around. Quick turn, stay on him. 
pop up. Pop a lot of shots into his wing there. But I am more or less going for, you know, you know the saying, meet our machine. Not really interested in his wings. Well, that's not actually true. If I pull a wing off, then I will accept that as a kill, but... Oh boy. Cut down underneath. Pop up. So he's trying to head back across the lines. Come on. Whoa, something's jostling me around. A lot of turbulence, I guess. Come on, get closer. I have no idea what's Something's jostling me around a lot, though. Come on. Out of ammo. Staying low, staying slow. Trying to use my rudder for accuracy here. Oh. Okay. Pulling off. He is dead. On fire even, okay. That's a kill. I'm claiming that. Fellow Newport nearby. So I'm gonna stick with him. Warm back. Seems to be another. Another Newport right there. Which is good. How much ammo do I have left? One drum. Ooh, whoa, that was track IR flipping out. Okay, screw it. I saw a second drum. I got two drums, so we'll call that that. Okay, I need to. You know, rich up my fuel a little bit. Okay, continuing to follow my flight, my squadron. So I'm fairly confident that was a DFW. And I will be claiming it as such. Or if someone at command is all like, no DFWs for the day you idiot, I'll be like, um, okay. And I guess it was a Roland. A Roland C2. So we are just currently putting along by the looks of it. Uh, on no, at, on at least our side of the lines, which is kind of good. I don't know if we're headed home or not. Either way, things seem to have settled down for the foreseeable future. So I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll bring everybody back in once I feel like something more interesting is happening, or we find ourselves back at base. See you all in a bit. All right, bring everybody back in here. I as soon as we started dipping south. I'm pretty sure we're headed back to base, following squadron, and if you look up there, I see one of the FE2s putting about, so hopefully that's them coming back from their mission, and by them I mean him. It's a little discouraging. 
a little disappointed in the squadron, to be honest. It doesn't seem like we uh, stayed with them, stayed with them at all. We sort of went our own way and went for kills as opposed to protecting the bombers, which we might have to have some words with our lieutenant when we get back. Well, possibly not. There's a second one up there. Okay, well, I'll wait till the records come in first, and if it proves to be some old bullshit, then I guess I don't have to worry about nothing. Although, the fact that we're now turning makes me think that something different is going on. Will you guys make up your mind? You guys are cutting it real close. And slowing down a huge amount. Hold on, hold on, wait for me. I don't even know if we're heading back to base anymore. I thought we were, but then we turned. What? We turned. Guys, help me. I mean, it seems like as good a time as any to head back. Oh, and yep, that this does seem like what we are doing because that is our airfield right there. Okay, now it makes sense to me. Guys, I got it. Thank you. Since these guys are all AI pilots, which means that they will just sit here and flutter around in circles for an hour before they actually land, I'm going to go buzz the tower as per usual, see what direction the wind is going, and then come in from my landing so that I can get out and go have some breakfast. This is like 8.30 in the morning when we had this thing. I didn't, uh... Robert Cross here wants to sleep, so he didn't bother waking up early enough for the usual breakfast. He just sort of, uh, woke up at 8 o'clock, got his stuff together, and then jumped in the plane, so no time for breakfast in there. Pretty hungry in, in his invisible self, apparently. But he gets to pad his scorecard with one extra kill, which is kind of nice. Can't go wrong with that. What do you got for us, Windsock? Oh, boy. Okay, so pretty much an alignment with that, that hangar right there. And boy, is the wind blowing hard. Turn back. Where's my squad? They're there. Way up there. Let's try to make this landing a good one, shall we? I know you guys didn't get to see it last time from my recording, but uh, my on my last mission, my landing was quite nice. So let's see if we can't recreate that. Or even do it better. So flying into the wind now, or at least fairly close to it. I'm sitting about half throttle. So I want to be about, about half throttle when I land because... Um, then I can use my blip switch to keep continue putting air over my tail so that I can avoid ground looping. Okay, okay, let's just hold it steady. Hold on. I want to stay in the air for now, Mr. Plane. Okay, here we go. Here it goes. Here it goes. Ooh. Bit rough. Oh. Well, I damaged a wing. But whatever. Shut up. It's not as easy as it looks. Look. 
pull on close to a hangar here. Keep throttle up and I'm just using the blip switch here to get me close. Pull back on the throttle. And shut off the engine. Up in the sky we have our friends. That's the FE2B. Where's uh Where's my squadron though? Whatever. They're all jerks anyway. Okay, well. We're gonna go finish flight. Okay, I'm gonna cover the screen. As I usually do with my hand, even though I'm pretty sure I only got one kill, because that's really the only thing I shot at and Proceed. Close that sucker down with an X. Jump back over to Pat Wilson's campaign generator and do a combat report. So, for today, the day is the 16th of February, I'm going to claim one DFW. And submit. Start debriefing. So it's quite the long mission. We went north. We <laughs> circled around. Oh, God. Okay, I circled around up there for like a jillion years. I killed the DF. Oh, fe 2 be destroyed, fe 2 be destroyed. <laughs> Man, okay, that sucks. Yep, uh, and then I, destro I destroyed the DFW, and then I got damaged by Unknown. Unknown is a very scary threat. Complete debriefing. Looks like everybody got home safely. I'm the only one who shot something down. Ooh, I think I got promoted. Promotion, yeah, Sergeant Robert Cross. Sweet. That's pretty cool, actually. Notification of promotion. How do you like that? I'm now the same rank as Darabu and Cad. In fact, I think they've placed me above them because I show up above them on the on the uh, roster, which is great and makes sense because I'm now the highest scoring uh, pilot in our little escadrille we got going on here. Switch back over to uh, Rise of Flight for a moment. Get a nice little um, look at our plane with the custom logo and everything. Um, yeah, I think that marks the end of episode five. I'm yeah, pretty pretty happy with that, I guess. Um, second time I've recorded this, like I mentioned, so at least I got to shoot at something. Landing was okay. Damaged the wing a bit, but I think we'll all live. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming by once again, uh, and check out the other YouTubers I mentioned before: Jimmy Blonde, Tail Mange, Dukely, uh, and um, Doctor Zebra too. I'll be putting links to their channels down in the description, so be sure to check them out. All of them are really great, and honestly, a lot of them are probably the reason why I'm even doing this to be uh, let's play as well. So, um, if you if you have the time, check them out too. So. Without further ado, I will see all of you next time on episode for episode six of my Rise of Light Let's Play. See you then.